So I made some changes to my self-driving robot and I updated the code where now it kind of avoid walls and reverse, it makes some turns. And based on the distance sensor, you can see now it, it can turn and it can uh, reverse back and avoid walls. There's a still a small problem and I'll show you here, which the distance sensor sometimes does not read the distance accurately in an angle, which I might have to end up like maybe adding an additional one. So I'm not sure, but I just wanted to kind of give you an update on how far I am on the self-driving robot. Obviously this is like work in progress, but let me show you how this works so far. So I'm going to turn it on and you can see it, it's going to go straight until it, it runs into the wall. And that's when it's going to change direction. Let me show you this. So I'm going to turn this on. You can see it's avoiding the walls, but sometimes it gets stuck on an angle like this. So you see it's the distance sensor and I can get it unstuck. Yeah, you can see sometimes it gets stuck like that, but I can get it unstuck by uh, basically uh, putting my hand in front of the sensor. And if it has a straight line, it'll keep going until it kind of hits the wall. And if it sees the wall, then it'll change direction. Sometimes it doesn't. And that's the kind of problem that I need to solve. If you have a good idea, let me know. Let's see, like it'll go straight until it kind of hits a wall and see like I can stop it. Now it sees me and then it kind of changed direction. So it'll try to go straight in a straight line unless it gets stuck like that, which I can get it unstuck, but you get the idea. So it'll go straight until it gets into a block and then it'll try to change direction. So that's what I'm working with right now. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one.